So, despite the doubts of the judging division, the Yokozuna Council proclaims Takakesho a Yokozuna contender. Speaking after Sunday's divisive sidestep, Chief Judge Sadagatake said, It's not the sumo I want to see. And you'd think he'd need more than 11 wins for top rank contention. But Yokozuna Council Chief Yamauchi said the following day, It wasn't the worst form of sidestep. What matters most is his name gets carved in history as September 2023 champion. We value Takakesho's triumph over injury, which inspires other wrestlers. And if he meets a few conditions, he can make Yokozuna next time. Keisho must first convince the judges, of course, who will recommend the council convene to formally stamp his promotion. 11 wins is the joint lowest title-winning score in 74 years of 15-day tournaments. In the council's 73-year history, though, no Ozeki taking two cups straight has ever been denied a promotion discussion. But you wonder if that stat will change if Keisho takes November with anything less than 13 wins. He fought neither Kirishima nor Terunofuji this time, and still managed to drop four bouts. There is another consideration, though. Terunofuji, of course. Were he listening to his body alone, especially after last year's op, he would have quit by now. I guess after May's triumphant comeback, which clearly took everything out of him. But a recent report in the Post-7 tabloid suggests he'll be forced to stay on till the next Yokozuna emerges. Much like Hakuho did for him in 2021. The best outcome then for all concerned is for Keisho to rise in November, allowing Teru to quit on the spot or when he then sees fit. But if Keisho falls short in November, what does Tedonofuji do? An anonymous sumo reporter suggests he will play the star attraction on tour and largely avoid the tournament ring. But can that be done for several months, or possibly even a year? It remains to be seen how he can build himself up again to challenge for another cup. Which is not only a core Yokozuna theme, but most important to his pride. The Yokozuna Council said yesterday he can take his time to return. And even if he fights and flops in November, he will not be asked to retire, the anonymous journalist suggests. Again, do archaic customs threaten to jam the natural flow of events? Sumo remains loath to go several months without a Yokozuna, not least for those ceremonies at shrines. Teru is required to uphold beauty of style regardless of body condition. Just like Takakesho on Sunday, and look how well that ended.